Today I'm drawing a flying girl in Sketchbook Express, explaining where the idea for this drawing came from and telling you a bit about what I've been up to all this time. Well it's been a long time since my last video. Since then quite a few things have happened. I've moved house into a smaller apartment with my family and now we're living in a two bedroom apartment. So it's been quite an interesting experiment to fit everybody in here. And since we moved it's taken me a long time just to get my equipment set up. I went through, from a whole room of stuff to basically uh, owning a corner of the living room. So it's been a bit difficult to get things done because I'm constantly interrupted because I have three children. But uh, I'm trying to make it work and the kids are getting older now so they're starting to understand that, you know, mummy needs to do her own work sometimes. So let's talk a little bit about the actual drawing. First of all, the tools that I used were Sketchbook Express and I used a Wacom Intuos 4 drawing tablet and at the end I used Photoshop to change some little bits and pieces and to add the background. The animations I made were in After Effects and Final Cut Pro. How did this drawing start? Well I began by drawing a curl or a line with a curl at the end which is the way that I often start a lot of my drawings for some reason that's a sort of a symbol that I use a lot and that's actually a symbol in New Zealand that's used a lot you'll see it everywhere including on the end of the or on the tail end of the uh, Air New Zealand airplanes but it's actually a koru a Maori word which means loop but it basically comes from a plant called a silver fern which is a very famous plant which I'm pretty sure it only grows in New Zealand so that's a symbol that I use a lot and actually when I moved to Australia when I was eight years old every time I saw that symbol or something that looked like that symbol it would make me a little bit homesick for New Zealand and for the the landscape that I missed with the mountains and the beautiful forests green grass to Australia which was uh, beautiful as well but uh, beautiful in a different way it, it was a drier place it didn't have as much green grass and so that was sort of the, the thing that I missed a lot so that symbol actually means quite a lot to me so I started with the the loop symbol and I I thought well that looks a little bit like hair and it looks like hair that's flowing in the wind and um, her face is quite strong and masculine and I could have changed that but I like the look of, of her face because she looks quite calm and determined and she's flying but she's sort of in control and she knows exactly what she wants to do and where to go so I left it, her face how it was cause I, because I thought it looked quite interesting. I'm still homeschooling my three children and that takes up a lot of my time. The homeschooling is getting very interesting. My children are getting older. They're now four, seven and nearly nine and they're starting to get interested in drawing and animation and basically anything that I'm doing they're interested in. They love learning languages and we're doing new things every day. So that takes up a lot of my time but I still really enjoy my drawing and painting and my artwork because that's, you know, my thing. Lately we had a big flood in, in our area so um, that was quite scary. I live quite close to a large river and um, the river flows all the way from the mountain ranges which, are, which I can see from my house all the way down to the ocean and I, I live quite close. For instance I can walk to the river would take me about, about uh, three or four minutes. We were pretty scared about the river overflowing its banks but it only lasted a few days and it was quite scary. I tend to colour in, in a natural way, even though I could have used this the selection tool and the paint bucket, for example. But I enjoy colouring things the long way sometimes because it's quite relaxing and therapeutic. Most of the artwork you see me do is just for my own enjoyment. So I wanted to make the girls' t-shirt go with the concept of flying. So I added some clouds and I made, made a beautiful deep blue sky colour to go with it. So in this drawing I tried out a new technique that I've seen some other artists use 
And this is the idea of the backlighting. And you can see on some objects such as the clouds on her shirt and her arms, I've left a little bit of white around the edges of the coloured areas to give it a bit more of a three-dimensional effect. I really like this technique and I'm still practicing it. Here in New Zealand we have some amazing autumn and winter days which appear every now and again when the weather is freezing. And, but the sky is an, often a, a very deep blue when the sun comes out and um, the sky just seems to go on forever. I think the blue on her shirt and the clouds remind me of this. Another thing I've been doing is I've been learning how to use programs such as Final Cut Pro and After Effects because I really I've always been interested in animation and I sort of wanted to bring my drawings to life. I, I've always thought that animation is so interesting. So I've been just mucking around and playing and experimenting with these programs to teach myself how to use them. And you'll probably see a little bit of that in my videos that are coming. And I hope to get better and better at that so that I can uh, bring you some really cool stuff. Any of the animations that you see in my videos, hand drawn by me, they're all drawings that I've done either recently or in the past and I've tried to animate them in different ways so I hope that you enjoy those. If you want me to do some future videos about how I animated those and the ideas behind them then just let me know in the comments below. Now her pants are meant to be green I guess a bit like the grass. I thought that would go nicely with the sky colour. So when I finished my drawing, I realised that her hair was not flowing in the right direction for the way that she was looking. If, I'm, if I imagined that she was flying from the left to the right, then her hair should be flowing to the left. So I did a little bit of cutting and pasting in Photoshop. I think it looks better, but um, perhaps doing this made her lose a bit of her, her determined expression. What do you think? Well, it's almost the end of this video. I wanted this to be a mixture between drawing and telling you what I've been up to. So how do you think I should use this drawing? On a greeting card or a print? With some sort of text or saying? Or maybe even a character for a comic strip? Let me know your ideas in the comments below. Streets, man. Wow. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to check out all the other goodies on my channel, and if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe and follow me on all the buttons next to the guy with the snazzy jacket. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoy Miraculous Mosquito videos and would like to support my channel even further, please check out my Patreon page for more details. Every little bit helps and you can also earn yourself some nice rewards. Thanks for watching!